What's up everyone, this is Too Slow. Today I'm going to be installing some Pioneer TS-A6996S speakers. I'm probably not gonna be doing that much talking on the background because I have some neighbors doing a quinceanera in a house, which I um, mean, whatever, you guys can do whatever the hell you want, but I'm probably gonna get copyrighted flagged for the music. So I'm probably not gonna be doing that much talking and if I do then, I don't know, I'll give it a shot. I'll upload it and if I get copyrighted then, I guess I'll put music over the audio that I'm talking right now, but never done this on a ninth gen uh, Corolla install speakers in the back. So I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm just gonna base this off from when I did my eighth gen speakers. Um, I know you have to, if I remember correctly, you have to just grab right here and, okay, yeah, there it goes. Yep, I knew it. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm wearing my Honda uniform. Just got out of work. Oh crap, there is a lot of stuff here. This is my first time ever <laughs> removing this back seat. But okay, for one, I know this is a stereo tool used to remove um, stereos from factory speak stereos, I guess. Um, Lego. That is awesome. Lego pieces. I I know this is Lego because as a kid I had Lego, um, a lot of Legos, and I know that's Lego for sure. Um, there's some more Lego right here. Oh my God, I'm gonna need to clean all this. I'm probably gonna need to cut this video and come back and clean all this crap because I don't want this in the back of my seat, honestly. But I'm gonna count all the money I find back here. This should be pretty interesting. Look, there's more Lego. More Lego right here. Yeah, as a kid, I had a lot of Lego. Legos. If you wanna Lego my ego. Oh, is this a receipt? Burned out bulb. I know these are for the airbag, but what are they doing back here? Oh, huh, that's crazy. What is this, Molly? <laughs> this is probably Molly. But yeah, these, what the hell, where did this come from? What is this? What the hell? Oh, mechanical pencil, awesome. Need those for school. Um, one peso, one peso. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, a lot of change. <laughs> this is funny. So guys, in, in total I collected two dollars and ninety-one cents. Feel lot, feel very rich. Almost three dollars, man. That's um, almost a meal at um, what is it, Burger King? They got the promotion going out of three fifty for the two cheeseburgers, fries, and a drink. Uh, I'm sounding like a fat ass right now. As I know, for the eighth gen, you have to remove the seat belts. This is the seat belt. This is the seat belt. The, I think it's a. These are fourteen, and those are twelve millimeter, and you have to take them off. And there's three for the seat. There's one right here. And there's one right there. There's another one at the end, so let's go ahead and remove those. If you let them go all the way in, they're going to lock up and you have to open them up again to unlock them and it's a really pain and it's a big pain in the ass. seats out it was it was really easy to take it out not that hard and there's that cross brace that everyone's talking about for the XRS um, yeah wow that's that's actually really good <laughs> wow that's awesome but yeah this um for this I believe you have to remove these right here these covers and oh god this is you gotta pop 
get this off and oh crap. Okay, never mind. Oh, there we go. Um I would have shame these got stuck, so we're gonna need to take those out. Figure out how to take them out. Um Mm, yeah, let's set that aside and this should be able to lift up now. <sighs> One, two, three, God, lead, those aren't cooperative as hell. So we're gonna manually remove those. So once you got the seat belts through this, you should be able to lift. And it should just slide right out, hopefully. There it goes. And there you uncover the six by nines. So let me go ahead and take this out because it is blocking the hell out of me. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove them. And yeah, so you have, looks like four 10 millimeters. Um, so let's go ahead and remove those. I'm not, I'm gonna skip through it. I have to get out of the car. There's just too many people outside. There's too much music. There's just a lot of people walking by my street, just going to the party. I had to get out of it. Today was not the day to install speakers, apparently. Um, yeah, not the day, but I'm inside and here we are about to open up the box. You know what's funny? On my other video of the speaker install, I got a lot of hate from that video. From that, um, from that video like there's a lot of dislikes because people were like saying why didn't you sh like show us the quality of the speakers people uh, like really like really your speakers are not gonna sound the same as these speakers they're different speakers it makes no sense like how am i gonna show you how my speakers sound if you are probably using your phone speakers your computer speakers it's not the same what's the point of showing you how it sounds like what i just simply say it's good it's awesome you know like qu quality wise it's good i don't know just a little bit of a little bit of a rant <laughs> these things are massive holy shish kebab wow these things wow just wow um Typical Pioneer just provides wire and mounting hardware. They didn't provide any of the foam insulation that goes around the the speaker, I guess. So, actually, no, that's not foam. That's that's hard. So we're probably gonna go to Home Depot and get some foam, like this expanding foam stuff. We're gonna go get some of this. They sell it for the garage door. Oh, yeah, all aluminum, sixty dollars. We're gonna test this out. We're gonna install it on the XRS, so we're gonna see how it is. But here's the speaker. Like, just the quality is very, very poor. And I don't know. I like bass. I like a little bit of power. So, bought these Pioneers. And here comes Jinx again to ruin the party. But let me just show you guys the. Just, just size comparison. <laughs> just the size comparison. Oh, Jinx, you gotta go. Just the size comparison is ridiculous. It's gonna make a huge difference. I know for a fact it is. This is gonna be awesome. So method to save the brackets, cause I kinda wanna keep the OEM factory bracket. Um, what I'm gonna do is, well what I did was, I got the stock speaker and I got like this pry tool and I just, well it's not a pry tool, it's like a window cutter. <laughs> but I use it as a pry tool cause I can't find anything to pry it off with but what i did is i went around and i just pried off this section like i pried it off i pulled it off and it will come off with the speaker so here's the here's the old bracket and what it was it was it was it was like that pried it off it came out and now i have the i guess the the cone material whatever it was toss that aside and so also what i did was i cut off cut out the right here so that the speaker can fit. And what I'm left with is this. So speaker sits properly. And what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna just use some self tappers and tap it in, like drill it into this and just go on the backside and cut it so it can sit flush with the, with the car. And 
hopefully it doesn't rattle if it rattles i'll just come back to it and put some some foam underneath it like um what this has um you could buy it at uh, um, home depot but i'm only gonna do it if it rattles so you won't know until later on in this video or later in a separate video or something but we're gonna go ahead and do this for now so this is one side already done we got it on the bracket with the self-tapping screws one two three four and i'm not gonna try to put it on its that side but that's what i ended up doing with the wiring um got quick disconnects that i use on my other video for the celica from arcade games that i got and we just simply did that i'm um, used the oem um, harness because that's me i'm oem oem is the way to go so there's that we're gonna set that aside we got the other bracket already cut out and we're just gonna do the same just self tap it and it should be done so it's about a week later i have already installed the front pioneer speakers the tweeters and the rear pioneer speakers um i kind of didn't want to do like a sound sound check sound test i guess you can say because i can't really put a song like a mainstream song that people like i guess know and like i don't know because i'm gonna get copyrighted like really easy i've already tried that and i'm not gonna go through that again it's annoying i've had to re-edit the video and actually on one video i had to delete it completely because the whole it was just ridiculous anyways i know this type of music does not get copyrighted infringement so i'm just gonna bump it up a bit <laughs> Also, you guys have to realize the microphone on my camera it's not that it sounds like the greatest quality so it's not gonna be able to pick up all this music pretty well anyways so it's kind of pointless for me to upload this section of the video the main reason the main point of the video is to show is like to show you guys that I'm installing speakers on the car it's not sound quality test because also you guys are playing it maybe on your headphones, your earbuds, your your speakers. They're not the same as these speakers. So it, all I can say, all I can say, is that they sound really good. I'm extremely happy with the quality. They're really, really crisp and crisp and clear. Whenever I raise the volume all the way up to like I don't know 27, like maybe like it's like late at night. I'm just cruising down. I'm just cruising back for my my girlfriend's house back home and it's 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 I, I just love it <laughs> i just love it i don't know um future things that i'm gonna do um future things i'm gonna do i'm gonna put in a 10 inch um shallow enclosure of a pioneer um speaker a pioneer subwoofer for a 10 inch one and I'll also make an install video for that one. That one's gonna be a little bit more in depth, I guess, cause I gotta run the wires through along the, the I guess the door sills to the back. But this um, subwoofer has the amp built into it, so it's pretty much skipping all that all that nonsense up. I I don't care for big bait like the big bass. I don't care for that. I don't. I just want a little bit. That's all I. Can, that's all I need. I don't need a lot. I don't need to be thumping hard so that the police can pull me over. And yes, I was like that back in high school. I thumped hard. I think I had two twelves in a box. That thing was ridiculous. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification button, share this video. See you guys later.